Lord's Day. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. As you can see, I am already out and about. I had to go by um, the UPS store. I ordered um, some really nice little trendy wedding bands for Eric. Um, and as you can see, they're really trendy, kind of different, but they were the wrong size. I ordered a size 10 and both of them came in a size 13. So I just had to go and, you know, send them back and I've already um, reordered some new ones because they're just that, um, I think they're really cute. Eric um, likes to collect watches and, and the two that I ordered, um, the bands on a couple of his watches, it kind of really coordinates really well so I thought it would be neat. So anyway, reordered them. So today I am just out and about running errands. Um, we're still trying to get ready for this trip to Disney World. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but for us it seems like as soon as we plan a trip, it instantly takes forever to get, you know, to get here. All right, so we are obviously in Target right now, and I'm looking for a card for my um, primary care physician. She has actually decided to go into practice um, by herself, so I wanted to get a card for her to kind of, you know, congratulate her on this new endeavor, but um, cards are expensive. I haven't purchased a card in a while but these things are really expensive so I'm just trying to find a neat one that I think um, kind of fits the situation this little congratulations sign right here on the front and they usually in the office hang like a bunch of little cards and things that the patients give them so yeah I think I'm gonna go with this one I hope she likes it Eric told me that he had to run some errands he said he needed to get out for a little bit. He had been on calls all day, so he just wanted to get out to have a little time for himself. Um, he was also gonna run some errands and go by. Uh, he went by Staples, he went by the Dollar Tree, picked up some bleach, uh, some paper plates, cleaning supplies. Um, and he said then he'd be, you know, he'd be right back home. Just need to get out for a little bit. I come downstairs when I hear him come in, you know, see how it was hanging out see if he felt any better and um, I get downstairs and uh, yeah this guy had gone by the Louis Vuitton store he gone by Gucci and picked up these surprises for me I mean I'm just almost speechless right now I'm never really speechless I'm just at a loss for words right now. He got me the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM in the Damier print. I about died when I walked downstairs and saw this bag. I mean, I cannot believe it. I had no idea um, that he was gonna do this for me today. Yeah, he really, he, 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 he got one over on me today and then so now, like, my, I already had the Neverfull GM monogram. So now they're like, they're like besties. They get to hang out in my closet. Oh my gosh, I have to find a spot for it in my closet. Bah. Today's topic, uh, another sticky one. <laughs> Should your spouse, significant other, whoever have ex have access to your email, your phone, your DMs, your DMs, all your social your <laughs> media right. accounts? Should that just be fair game? Eric? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I think I've said in previous videos, 
Let me start off by saying I always say. Oh, not to cut you off, babe. I know. Not to cut me off and cut me off. Wait, I forgot my train of thought now. So. I'm sorry. We're standing because we wanted to apologize for the last uh, tea time. It was like 15 minutes long, guys. Way too long. So we're standing so that we can get in here, do this tea time, and get out. All right. Can you I were go saying, now? dear. I'm okay. sorry. We're gonna do one about spouses interrupting each other. Um, I think I said in maybe the last tea time or one of the other ones, mm -hmm. marriage is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because if you're not ready to open up, in my opinion, mm -hmm. kind of all your accounts, mm -hmm. your emails, your Instagram, your Facebook, Facebook, and not that your spouse should be looking at it, but like I have all your passwords, you have all of mine, and that's all of our accounts. Yeah, it's that's everything. Available. We have access to all of one another's accounts. Um, Eric doesn't have Facebook or Instagram, but he has access to both my Facebook and Instagram accounts. Um, and I just think that once you get married, just like Eric said, once again, we're on the same page with this. It's not me being an overbearing wife or him being an overbearing husband. It's just if your spouse cannot have access to those accounts, why not? What do you have in those accounts that your spouse, your, sign your significant other cannot see? When you are in a marriage and um, in a committed relationship, everything I think should be you know yeah. pretty much open and even before we had the social stuff mm -hmm. we had access to all the bank accounts credit yeah. cards is all joint yeah access. It's, it's in both of our names yeah. um, and we don't have to tell you guys about some of the stories that are going on with the celebrities mm -hmm. right now where people are really getting caught up with the what is yeah. it the DMS you know yeah I think the other <laughs> thing that gets people in trouble too and a lot of people especially all you Apple users and we got some Apple stuff the, the cloud. cloud yeah eric does a lot of work with the cloud and things yeah. like that the cloud will get you yeah the cloud is just ruining something because the cloud will back up stuff you, you got to check your settings and you don't even know it's backing up going yeah. to the cloud so. yeah i remember and i actually just got an apple computer i remember when we when i first got it i was getting all of eric's work emails my just texts, everything text stuff, everything yeah. was coming to me and again his was work or just, it, it was nothing that I had to be concerned about. But for some of you guys who were kind of sneaking around and yeah. trying to do stuff, be careful. Yeah, the cloud, <laughs> the cloud will get you caught up. Do you guys think, or you know, does your spouse have free reign to to all of your to, to all of your stuff, all of oh, your, your your phone code, yeah. the passcode to your phone? Yeah, I yeah. have the passcode to his phone. Just just everything. Yeah. Nothing is a secret in this house. And if you are in a relationship where um, you're not sneaking around and doing things, it shouldn't be a problem. It's not like it used to be. Like if if you're cheating on your spouse, it's, and this is for men and women both. Back in the day, you know, individuals used to try to keep it a secret. Yeah. However, now it's like they're just putting it out there for the world to see. So just be on the safe side. And if you're in a committed relationship, be in that committed relationship. Because if you're not ready, again, marriage isn't for everybody. Because in this age of technology, you will get caught. You'll get caught. Screenshot. All right. All right. Bye, guys.